Kamarupa, also called Pragjotisha, was a power during the classical period on the Indian subcontinent, and along with Devaka, the first historical kingdom of Assam. Though Kamarupa existed from 350 CE to 1140 CE, Devaka was absorbed by Kamarupa in the 5th century CE. Ruled by three dynasties from their capitals in present-day Guwahati, North Guwahati and Tezpur, Kamarupa at its height covered the entire Brahmaputra Valley, North Bengal, Bhutan and northern part of Bangladesh, and at times portions of what is now West Bengal and Bihar, though the historical kingdom disappeared by the 12th century to be replaced by smaller political entities, the notion of Kamarupa persisted and ancient and medieval chroniclers continued to call this region by this name. In the 16th century the Ahom kingdom came into prominence and assumed for itself the political and territorial legacy of the Kamarupa kingdom. Etymology The kingdom derived its name from the region it constitutes. The origin of name attributed to a legend in Epic, the Kalika Purana mentioned that country got its name from Cupid Kamadeva Kama, who regained his form Rupa back from ashes here. <inaudible> <inaudible> Antecedents Kamarupa and the northeast Indian region find no mention in the Ashokan records 3rd century BCE. The first dated mention comes from the Periplus of the Erythraean Sea 1st century where it describes a people called Sesidia, and the second mention comes from Ptolemy Geographia 2nd century calls the region Karadia after the Karada population. Arthashastra early centuries of the Christian era mentions Lauhitya which is identified with Brahmaptra Valley by a later commentator. The earliest mention of a kingdom comes from the 4th century Allahabad inscription of Samudragupta that calls the kings of Kamarupa Western Assam and Devaka now in Nagan district frontier rulers Pratyanta Nri Pati. The Chinese traveler Xuanzang visited the kingdom in the 7th century, then ruled by Bhaskaravarman. The corpus of Kamarupa inscriptions left by the rulers of Kamarupa, including Bhaskaravarman, at various places in Assam and present-day Bangladesh are important sources of information. Nevertheless, local grants completely eschew the name Kamarupa, instead they use the name Pragjotisha, with the kings called Pragjyotishadipati. <laughs> Boundaries The kingdom in the 4th century was small, located to the west of Nagan that soon engulfed the entire Brahmaputra valley and beyond. According to the 10th century Kalika Purana and the 7th century Xuanzang, the western boundary was the historical Karatoya River. The eastern border was the temple of the goddess Tamreshvari Pervate Kamarupasya Devi Dikaravasini, given in Kalika Purana near present-day Sadia, in the easternmost corner of Assam, which too agrees with Xuanzang. The people of Kamarupa were aware of Sichuan which lay two months' journey away from its eastern borders. The southern boundary was near the border between the Dhaka and Mimesing districts in Bangladesh. Thus it spanned the entire Brahmaputra valley and at various times included present-day Bhutan and parts of Bangladesh. This is supported by the various epigraphic records found scattered over these regions. The kingdom appears to have broken up entirely by the 13th century into smaller kingdoms and from among them rose the Kamada kingdom, Dimasa kingdom and the Chutia kingdom as the main successors. The Shans who entered Assam in 1228 later took power and ruled over Assam, while the rest was absorbed by the Mughals. <laughs> State The extent of state structures can be culled from the numerous Kamarupa inscriptions left behind by the Kamarupa kings as well as accounts left by travelers such as those from Xuanzang. Governance followed the classical Saptanga structure of state, kings and courts, the king was considered to be of divine origin. Succession was primogeniture, but two major breaks resulted in different dynasties. In the second, the high officials of the state elected a king, Brahmapala, after the previous king died without leaving an heir. The royal court consisted of a Rajaguru, poets, learned men and physicians. Different epigraphic records mention different officials of the palace, Mahavaradipati, Mahapradihara, Mahalakapradika, etc. Council of Ministers – The king was advised by a council of ministers Mantraparasada, and Xuanzang mentions a meeting Bhaskarvarman had with his ministers. 
According to the Kamauli grant, these positions were filled by Brahmanas and were hereditary. State functions were specialized and there were different groups of officers looking after different departments. Revenue, land revenue was collected by special tax collectors from cultivators. Cultivators who had no proprietary rights on the lands they tilled paid uparikara. Duties were collected by toll collectors from merchants who plied keeled boats. The state maintained a monopoly on copper mines The state maintained its stores and treasury via officials, Bandagaradikarita and Koshthagarika. Grants, the king occasionally gave Brahmanas grants Brahmadeya, which consisted generally of villages, water resources, wastelands etc. Agraharas. Such grants conferred on the Dhani the right to collect revenue and the right to be free of any regular tax himself and immunity from other harassments. Sometimes, the Brahmanas were relocated from North India, with a view to establish Varnashramdharma. Nevertheless, the existence of Dhanis indicate the existence of a feudal class. Grants made to temples and religious institutions were called Dharmatara and Devatara respectively. Land survey, the land was surveyed and classified. Arable lands were held individually or by families, whereas wastelands and forests were held collectively. There were lands called Buchidranyaya that were left unsurveyed by the state on which no tax was levied. Administration, the entire kingdom was divided into a hierarchy of administrative divisions. From the highest to the lowest, they were Bukti, Mandala, Vishaya, Pura towns, Agrahara collection of villages, and Grama village. These units were administered by headed by Rajanya, Rajavalaba, Vishayapati etc. Some other offices were Nyayakaranika, Vyavaharika, Kayastha etc., led by the Adhikara. They dispensed judicial duties too, though the ultimate authority lay with the king. Law enforcement and punishments were made by officers called dandika, magistrate, and dandapashika, one who executed the orders of a dandika. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political history. Kamarupa, first mentioned on Samudragupta's Allahabad rock pillar as a frontier kingdom, began as a subordinate but sovereign ally of the Gupta Empire around present-day Guwahati in the fourth century. It finds mention along with Devaka, a kingdom to the east of Kamarupa in the Kapili River Valley in present-day Nagan district, but which is never mentioned again as an independent political entity in later historical records. Kamarupa, which was probably one among many such state structures, grew territorially to encompass the entire Brahmaputra Valley and beyond. The kingdom was ruled by three major dynasties, all of which drew their lineage from the legendary aboriginal king Naraka, who is said to have established his line by defeating another aboriginal king Ghatakasura of the Daneva dynasty. <laughs> Varman dynasty c. 350 c. 650 Pushyavarman established the Varman dynasty, by fighting many enemies from within and without his kingdom, but his son Samudravarman named after Samudragupta, was accepted as an overlord by many local rulers. Nevertheless, subsequent kings continued their attempts to stabilize and expand the kingdom. The Nagajari Kanakurgan rock inscription of 5th century found in Sarupathar in Galaghat district of Assam adduces the fact that the kingdom spread to the east very quickly. Kalyanavarman occupied Devaka and Mahendravarman further eastern areas. Narayanavarma and his son Budivarman offered the Ashwamedha horse sacrifice, and as the Nidhanpur inscription of Bhaskarvarman averse, these expansions included the region of Chandrapuri Visaya, identified with present-day Silhet division. Thus, the small but powerful kingdom that Pushyavarman established grew in fits and starts over many generations of kings and expanded to include adjoining possibly smaller kingdoms and parts of Bangladesh. After the initial expansion till the beginning of Bhutivarman's reign, the kingdom came under attack from Yasodharman of Malwa, the first major assault from the west. 
Though it is unclear what the effect of this invasion was on the kingdom, that Butivarman's grandson, Stataverman (566–590), enjoyed victories over the Gauda of Karnasavarna and performed two Aswamedha ceremonies suggests that the Kamarupa kingdom had recovered nearly in full. His son, Susthitavarman (590–600), came under the attack of Mahasenagupta of East Malwa. These back and forth invasions were a result of a system of alliances that pitted the Kamarupa kings allied to the Mauharis against the Gaur kings allied with the East Malwa kings. Susthitavarman died as the Gaur invasion was on, and his two sons, Suprathisthitavarman and Bhaskarvarman fought against an elephant force and were captured and taken to Gaur. They were able to regain their kingdom due probably to a promise of allegiance. Suprathisthitavarman's reign is given as 595–600, a very short period, at the end of which he died without an heir. Suprathisthitavarman was succeeded by his brother, Bhaskarvarman 600–650, the most illustrious of the Varman kings who succeeded in turning his kingdom and invading the very kingdom that had taken him captive. Bhaskarvarman had become strong enough to offer his alliance with Harshavardhana just as the Thanissar king ascended the throne in 606 after the murder of his brother, the previous king, by Shashanka of Gaur. Harshavardhana finally took control over the kingless Maukari kingdom and moved his capital to Kanauj. The alliance between Harshavardhana and Bhaskarvarman squeezed Shashanka from either side and reduced his kingdom, though it is unclear whether this alliance resulted in his complete defeat. Nevertheless, Bhaskarvarman did issue the Nidhanpur copper plate inscription from his victory camp in the Gaur capital Karnasavarna present-day Murshidabad, West Bengal to replace a grant issued earlier by Bhutivarman for a settlement in the Silhet region of present-day Bangladesh. <laughs> Malechcha dynasty c. 655 c. 900 CE. After Bhaskarvarman's death without an heir, the kingdom passed into the hands of Salasthamba 655 an erstwhile local governor and a member of an aboriginal group called Malechcha or Mech, after a period of civil and political strife. This dynasty too drew its lineage from the Naraka dynasty, though it had no dynastic relationship with the previous Varman dynasty. The capital of this dynasty was Harapeshvara, now identified with modern Da Parbatiya near Tezpur. The kingdom took on feudal characteristics with political power shared between the king and second and third tier rulers called Mahasamanta and Samanta who enjoyed considerable autonomy. The last ruler in this line was Tyaga Singha 890 <laughs> Pala dynasty c. 900 c. 1100. After the death of Tyagasimha without an heir, a member of the Bama family, Brahmapala 900 was elected as king by the ruling chieftains, just as Gopala of the Pala dynasty of Bengal was elected. The original capital of this dynasty was Hadapeshvara, and was shifted to Durjaya built by Ratnapala 920 near modern Guwahati. The greatest of the Pala kings, Dharmapala (1035–1060), had his capital at Kamarupanagara, now identified with North Guwahati. The last Pala king was Jayapala (1075–1100). Around this time, Kamarupa was attacked, and the western portion was conquered by the Pala king Ramapala. Topic: <laughs> Non-dynastic independent kings. The Gaur king could not hold Kamarupa for long, and Timgyadeva ruled Kamarupa independently for some time. Vaidyadeva, a minister of the Gaur king Kumarapala the son of Ramapala began an expedition against Timgyadeva and installed himself as a ruler at Hamshkanchi in the Kamrup region. Though he maintained friendly relationships with Kumarapala, he styled himself after the Kamarupa kings issuing grants under the elephant seal of erstwhile Kamarupa kings and assuming the title of Maharajadiraja. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar dynasty Not much is known about dynastic kings from this period. Nevertheless, a single inscription 1185 gives a list of four rulers that have been called the Lunar Dynasty 
Bhaskara, Rayaradeva, Udayakarna, and Vallabhadeva, dated to 1120 1200. The period saw a waning of the Kamarupa kingdom, and in 1206 the Afghan Muhammad i Bakhtiyar passed through Kamarupa against Tibet, which ended in disaster, the first of many Turco Afghan invasions. The ruler of Kamarupa at this point was Prithu d. 1228, called Britu in Tabakat i Nasiri, who is sometimes identified with Visvasundara, the son of Vallabhadeva of the Lunar dynasty, mentioned in the Gachal inscription of 1232 AD. Prithu withstood invasions 1226 from Gyasadan Iwaj Shah of Gauda who retreated, but was killed in the subsequent invasion by Nasir Ud Din Mahmud in 1228. Nasir Ud Din installed a tributary king but after his death in 1229 there was much civil strife. <inaudible> End of Kamarupa Kingdom and the beginning of Kamada There emerged a strong ruler named Sandhya c. 1250–1270, the Rai of Kamrup, with his capital at Kamarupanagara in present-day North Guwahati, Malik Iktiaruddin Yuzbak, a governor of Gaur for the Mamluk rulers of Delhi, attempted an invasive attack on Sandhya's domain in 1257, and Sandhya, with the help of the spring floods that same year, captured and killed the Sultan. Subsequent to this attack, Sandhya moved his capital from Kamarupanagara to Kamadapur North Bengal and established a new kingdom, that came to be called Kamada. At that time, western Kamarupa was being ruled by the chiefs of the Bodo people, Koch and Mech tribes. In parts of the erstwhile Kamarupa the Kachari Kingdom Central Assam, South Bank, Baro Buyans Central Assam, North Bank, and the Chutia Kingdom East were emerging. The Ahams, who would establish a strong and independent kingdom later, began building their state structures in the region between the Kachari and the Chutia Kingdoms in 1228. See also Kamrup disambiguation History of Assam Notes <laughs>